Tobias Siebert is a financial advisor at MLP Finanzberatung SE. Today, we talk about assistance for the HR department through external financial advice. So Tobias, so welcome to Business Talk. I'm Kudam. It's a pleasure for us to have you here today. It's so good to be in Berlin again. Yeah. <laughs> that's Woo! great. I like to hear Berlin that. Berlin is back. <laughs> now let's talk about something that's maybe not so great. German bureaucracy. Mm. And uh, this is actually really hard to understand even for uh, citizens. So what are the consequences for companies hiring international staff? Yeah, you have uh, to do a lot of preparation work. Uh, that means you have to uh, organize the visa formalities, you have to um, organize registration. Of course, uh, your employees have to live somewhere, so it would be good to help them get an apartment. Uh, if they got children, uh, they should have a school or a kita. Um, so it's a lot of tasks um, and a lot of work for uh, the HR department, I think. And the HR department is often the first contact uh, for people with any kind of questions, also for um, like financial questions. So how much time does it take? Um, explain the German system um, of firms, fixed costs, health insurance, uh, state pensions, employer funded pensions and so on and so on um, to international employers. Yeah, um, so basically the first thing is to give some basic information. Uh, yeah, the nice to have insurances, uh, the must have insurances, and to give um, uh, the yeah, basic knowledge to start walking in the German system. Uh, so I do this in a group meeting. Yeah, so, and um, when there are more individual questions, I do individual meetings. And this can mean um, uh, organizing um, safety for the family, uh, organizing th safety for the home, um, explaining for that person is it uh, is a private health insurance better than the public one or a mixture of both, um, and so that is like a, like a pyramid. So from the uh, from the basic to more specific uh, fields where whatever information is needed. So you are specialized in financial advisement, especially for English speaking employers and especially for people who are working in IT. Um, why are you doing this? So how did you find this niche? Yeah, um, I've uh, had the, uh, the task to, uh, to offer this service for an IT company in Berlin um, uh, from one of my clients. And after doing this in a preparation time of six months, um, of course, people changed their job and one, um, one lady changed to another company in computer games and uh, this company was just a grown-up startup growing, there had 20, 30 people in Berlin and um, of, um, of course I uh, accompany the employees when they change the job because they got a company pension from one company and they enter a new company pension and I help them to continue their pension plan but it does because it doesn't make sense to start a new company uh, pension plan whenever you start a new job and at the end you have uh, 10 uh, pension plans what doesn't make any any sense so this lady uh, asked me uh, to uh, uh, if I could offer the same service which she knew from the other company if I could do this for her new company as well. And so I uh, presented uh, uh, what I did in the last uh, year for the other company to the managers. Uh, we had uh, some competition from one of Germany's biggest uh, uh, insurance companies, but they only could offer one product. And uh, the manager said, no, we, we want to offer a choice from um, investment products uh, uh, up to more safe products and to um, uh, ecologically friendly sustainable investments. So that was also the outcome in the year 2017 when we asked people what do you want when you invest money. These young guys were the first one in my 18-year career who asked me about sustainable investment. Long before Greta 
uh, shook the world. Uh, uh, these guys, and I, they, and I said, I don't know if I can offer a sustainable investment. In an, uh, no one asked me that before. So I went to my company, uh, MLP, which has over 800 employees. So we got 800 specialists helping in any field from uh, uh, pet insurance to drone insurance to even um, yeah, all the funniest sorts of uh, things. And so uh, I could find an uh, insurance company who could offer that. So they were very happy and said, okay, uh, I should um, help their uh, employees as well. And um, after six months of preparation for the first company, it took me six weeks for the second company. So after six weeks, I was up and running. And uh, so, so I felt uh, the need for the international um, 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 employees. And I felt the dynamic in Berlin of growing IT companies. And that's what I like. So when I um, uh, um, uh, started my marketing career, I worked for one and a half years in uh, London for a German company. And uh, so I could feel the same energy I felt in London with people from all over the world putting, uh, we always said, uh, work hard and live hard. So everyone worked hard or work smart. Uh, and But in the evening, everyone was living hard and having fun and uh, partying. And that's what I found in Berlin as well. Work hard, do your job and enjoy life. So that's basically where I found, well, that's a, a perfect match. And so um, I decided because I think, uh, um, I believe in speci specialization because when you can offer everything, you're not good at something. So I, th I felt like, okay, this is something people like my services, the company like my services. Uh, I like the job. Uh, it's a lot of fun and I've got reasons to come to Berlin. That's a funny thing. I tried because I live in Dortmund, uh, so we got uh, definitely the better football team than Berlin. <laughs> but all the rest, I would say, is, uh, uh, I, I would pre prefer uh, uh, Berlin as a city. Um, and so um, um, I had other IT companies um, who were interested in the service, but they only had German employees in the Ruhrgebiet, in Dortmund, Essen, Düsseldorf, Bochum. So I, I wouldn't say I wouldn't serve these companies, but it was a bit boring <laughs> because they already knew, uh, heard something about private health insurance. They already had a company pension, so it was, oh yeah. So, uh, so I think, okay, I, and so that's why I um, uh, yeah, basically spent uh, once a, a, a week every month in Berlin and um, um, uh, looking after my uh, Berlin clients. And of course, um, uh, it's very interesting for me to work in a growing industry, even before Corona. So I'm very happy to uh, have specialized in IT companies. I had a feeling that uh, should, they should have a good future. Um, so I, I was right, but by, by the Corona uh, um, uh, pandemic, uh, of course, the digital companies were boosted. And now um, um, I'm very happy to have selected the right uh, target group. <laughs> I, I'm definitely sure you, you took the right choice. <laughs> yeah. So Tobias, you're working as a consultant for many, many years. Compared to the last couple of years, did you experience any growing demand uh, for financial advisement in English? Yeah, I think uh, the demand for financial advice uh, has always been there. In Germany, um, people may, uh, many people are a bit reluctant to advise because they only expect people to sell a product. So that's why, well, um, as a financial advisor in Germany, um, people need their time to trust you. Uh, what's absolutely fine. What maybe is my advantage? I was an MLP client myself. So even though I was uh, had a bank apprenticeship, so my first step in the career was uh, working at the Deutsche Bank. Um, then I, it was uh, too boring, and then I studied economies, international business before I had my um, marketing career. Um, and uh, yeah, at my uh, university, I became an MLP client because MLP uh, they were very are very clever. They uh, try to. Um, offer their services 
uh, to clients before they get a job. So um, they help them to get a job with assessment center training. So um, that's uh, how I learned about MLP. And um, the good thing was my consultant was always, he never pushed me uh, into a product. Uh, uh, it took, uh, um, yeah, he, I, was, I was very much motivated to look into investments. My wife took a bit longer, so I think she told, she took about, took about two years for him. Uh, he already has convinced me uh, that, uh, but my wife uh, it took a bit longer, but now, then she trusted him. And uh, yeah, I think nowadays um, people start to look at um, investments um, uh, a bit more, the younger people. So today I've, I've heard in a, in a podcast last year there were 1.5 new clients for uh, investments. So there are now people who, uh, who want to let their money work for them because generally that's one day what, what everyone else should do when we want to retire, the, someone else or the money has to work for us. And uh, so there's a new generation of people buying shares with their mobile phone. Um, so the mobile phone is maybe my competition um, and it's uh, of course it's cheaper but some people, many people need advice, need a financial strategy um, because we are not gambling at MLP. And, uh, one of my colleagues always says, mit der Rente spielt man nicht. So don't gamble with your pension. You can gamble with pocket money or whatever, but not with a pension because one day uh, it's your only source of income. Um, and so that's what we take very seriously. And so we try to give our clients a a wide portfolio of investments to have a lot of diversifications and after working as a financial consulting in 18 years um, I'm very happy about this uh, um, strate strategies and basically most of my clients today I always say they got uh, l less hair or grayer hair or less hair and grayer hair but their, uh, um, their, uh, their smile gets bigger each year because they can see it was good to buy some um, uh, share investment. It was good to put cash into investment when the share prices were down. It was good to not to sell sh the shares when everyone uh, wanted to leave the market. So they need someone who gives them confidence and uh, um, yeah, and it's always important, and that's what I do with my clients at least once or twice a year, to have a regular check-up meeting. So that is also something very important, I think, like when you go to the dentist or, or the woman, some Frauenarzt, uh, men are to the women's doctor, uh, men don't go to the doctor so often, what sometimes causes big problems, so we should, could learn from from women uh, as well. Um, and that's uh, important to uh, always see if the package every client has got still is the optimum for the news for the current situation. So my clients not only call me when they need uh, an insurance for the drone or for, for the new swimming pool or whatever, they also call me when their situation in life changes when they marry, when they get children, when they divorce, when they got a new job, when they lose their job, when uh, yeah, they want to fulfill their dreams, they want to um, uh, take a year off to do a sabbatical. So because m most or many of the important decisions in life or changes in life uh, all have impact on finances. And so that's basically my goal, to be the one person my, the, my clients call when they are, uh, need some advice and need help. Uh, either when they win the lottery or lose their job, um, I try to make the best out of uh, every situation and help them.
I think it was a perfect outro for our interview. So thank you so much for this insightful uh, conversation. And it was really a pleasure uh, talking to you. Thank you, Tobias. It was great to see you, Claudia.